search also on at this hour to try and find a missing Terrace Park teenager who disappeared suddenly early Sunday morning. Nine News reporter Tom McKee live for us with the latest on what's being done to locate Colin Barton. Tom. Well, Lance, Colin Barton is 16 years old, a student at Marymount High School, and was, like you said, was last seen early Sunday morning. Now, this is a recent photograph of the six-foot-tall, 125-pound Barton, whom police say was at a party on Cambridge Avenue in Madison Place early yesterday when he decided to walk home to Terrace Park. Because it's out of character for him not to be checking in with his parents, a full-scale search has been launched involving Hamilton County's urban search and rescue team, which deployed this morning from the Bass Island parking lot along the Little Miami River. That's where a ping from the team's cell phone was detected within an hour after he left that party. It's the terrain. It's the river. Um, you know, it's the area uh, between here and Terrace Park. It's, you know, very wooded. And, um, the, kids, the kids know this area. Right. And, and they, they use the river for recreational purposes, and they use the river for transportation. It's, it's a way to get one from one place to the other. So because of the terrain and because of the inability to use just any normal searcher to cover that type of terrain, uh, the USAR task force at, at the request of the Terrace Park Police is doing the, the, the difficult terrain search to see if we, uh, if we can find him or find any clues. Now the search involves the banks of the Little Miami River, the Little Miami Bike Trail and points along Wooster Pike in both Columbia Township and Terrace Park. Lance, again, we want to say the name Colin Barton. 16 years old, 6 feet, 125 pounds, thin build, brown hair and eyes, dark green t-shirt with blue jeans. Anybody with information is asked call the Terrace Park Police Department, 513-831-2137. 831-2137. Hopefully a positive outcome still to come. Tom McKee live for us this noon in Marymount. Tom, thank you.